In this video, we are going to learn how to bypass FRP lock, the same as Google account verification on Motorola devices without a PC. Yes, so if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video and drop a comment. So first of all, you need to connect your device to a Wi-Fi or um, a hotspot. Then after connecting it, then you allow the device to verify and confirm that this device is currently locked to a Google account before we proceed to the steps. As you can see, this Motorola device is currently locked to a Google account. Yes, the device is asking us to sign into the previous Google account that was sent to this device. So now let the process begin. After following the four steps, now we have to go back to the main menu and set up the device. You can do that by clicking start, then you click on the skip, the skip button. Now we go back and set up the device offline. You remember we've already connected the Wi-Fi to this device, so let's set up the device offline. Then when you see this, you should wait for a while. When you see this uh, just a sec signal, you need to wait for a while before you continue with the next steps. Now let us wait for a while, then I will show you the final process. At the end of this video, you will be able to gain access to your device again and this process is completely free you don't need a pc you don't need a software 
all you need to do is to follow my steps step by step and everything will be perfect so now let's go back go back to the main menu and then now we will go to the emergency call and we are going to repeat the steps again go to the emergency you tap on the pencil icon at the top right side of your screen and you tap on the name you tap on the owner and then you choose an image now you are going to press and hold the drive icon and select performance go to the search and search for apps it's going to pop up the options then you choose the apps info yeah that is the apps and notifications just as we did before then you select see all 35 apps then now we are going to reset the app preference this is going to re-enable the google play store and then the google play service which we have disabled after doing that once you reset the app preference you see that the google play service is back we have enabled it the same as the google play store all right so now we'll just head back and click start again we will now set up the device again make sure to set up the device offline okay so select the offline option then you can see that the google account bypass is successful all we need to do right now is to go ahead and set up the device 